Hi, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial for uh, Grade 2 Mathematics. And in this video, we are going to start the revision for our topic division. This is a revision topic, so of course, uh, the details will be less as compared to the previous one. So let's begin. Before starting the division, you should know the concept of the division that we have to take here. In division, what we have to do is we need to divide the numbers equally in certain groups. For example, uh, here on your screen right now you can see the question is share 14 cherries equally between two girls. How many cherries does each girl get? And then you have to circle the number of cherries uh, each girl uh, gets. So we have a total number of cherries are 14 and we need to divide it between two girls. So what we can do, we can draw here uh, 14 cherries. Let's suppose these are the cherries. I'm going to draw 14 cherries. And then we need to divide them between two girls equally. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So here I draw 14 cherries. Now what I will do, I will divide it in... Uh, between the two girls equally. So let's suppose these are the two girls that we have uh, in between those we have to divide. Okay, so here I'm going to make a box for each of them where they can put their cherries. So <clears throat> to divide them equally, what I will do, the best way at this level to understand uh, to divide these cherries is uh, first. Uh, as we have the two members between them we have to divide so I will choose the two cherries and will give one one to each of them so okay I'm going to choose this one and this one and will give one one to each so here I will give one here I will give one so still we have uh, remaining cherries again for as the total number of the members are two so I will choose uh, two further cherries and will give one one to each so they will get equally and then after that again uh, there are the two members next two more cherries I will pick up and will give one one to each and then again uh, next two cherries I will pick up and will give one one to each and then again I will choose uh, cherries and will give one one to uh, each and then these two I will give one one to each and then one one two each so now I will calculate uh, how many are uh, here so if I will calculate uh, each one get one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so each one gets seven seven so it mean I can say uh, by doing so we made the two groups and each group is of seven okay so we made the two groups of seven and if these are two groups of seven, we can write them as two times seven. Two groups of seven mean two times seven. So two times seven will be equal to fourteen. Now next here we have is fourteen divided by two. It means there were total fourteen cherries and we divided them uh, among two groups. So how many each group will have? So we have seen here that each group got 7 because total were 14 we divided into 2 so each one got 7. So it will be 7. So we can say each girl gets 7 cherries. Now next here the next question is put 14 cherries equally on plates of 2 each. So how many plates are there? Circle the groups of cherries. So again what we need to do is I will draw the 14 cherries and this time the way of the question will be slightly different. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So right now we don't know. We have to make the groups of 2, 2. Before what we did, we were we need to make two groups, and uh, then we counted how many will be in each group equally. 
but in this question we know that each group will have two two but we don't know about the number of groups so to know about the number of groups uh, what I will do I will uh, use the given condition that I will make uh, the group of two each and will count the total number of groups like I'm going to make uh, this group of two and another group of two another group of two each group will be of two it cannot be more than two each group will must be of a two so here I will have uh, how many groups now one two three four five six seven so there are seven groups of two so seven groups of two can be written in this form seven times two and seven times two gives if we will count the total we have already learned this in multiplication that seven times two will be equal to uh, fourteen and uh, now if we divide fourteen into two of each so how many groups we had we have already seen that there will be seven groups so there are seven plates now the next page is here uh, page number 42 of the activity book and the first question here is uh, put 30 fish equally in five tanks how many fish are there in each tank and circle the number of fish in each tank so here we have a total five tanks these five tanks are given and uh, total number of fish shown are 30 we need to put fish equally in each tank so what we need to do is first I will uh, as there are total five tanks so I will choose five fish and will put one one in each so let's choose these five one two three four and five and put one one in each so here will be one one here one here one here and one here now the next five I will pick up one two three four five and will put one 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 and one and then the next five I will pick up one two three four five and we'll put one one in each one 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 and one and the next five I will pick up one two three four five and we'll put one one in each one here one here one here one here and one here and then again next five I will pick up one two three four five so I will put here one here one here one here and one here and then next five one two three four five so one one in each one 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 here one here and one here and you can see all the fish we put one by one equally in these tanks so now we'll count how many are in each tank so we can count one two three four five six so there are six fish in each tank so we can say there are five groups of six and five groups of six can be written as five times six and five times six the total numbers it will be 30 so it means we can say there were 30 fish we divided them into five equal groups so how many will be in each group we just have done that will be equal to six so there are six fish in each tank now next question is put 30 fish equally in five each it's just again as we have done previously now here we don't know how many groups will be but we know that in each group there will be five so we will put 5-5, five, five. we will make the group of 5-5, five, five. I will circle 5-5 five, five from each one. So what I need to do is, I will choose 5 and will circle them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I will circle these 5s. The next 5, in, in each group there should be 5, so I will circle 5-5. Five, five. Then again here I will circle these 5, here I will circle 5. There cannot be more than 5 in each group so we have to tell how many groups of 5 will be for 30 so if we count the number of groups these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are 6 groups of 5 I will say 6 groups of 5 6 groups of 5 means 6 times 5 6 times 5 is 30 so we were having 30 we divided them into 5 5 
so the number of proof that we got are six so there are six tanks so this is what we have for today inshallah tomorrow we will come with the next topic see you bye bye